I am Anil Kumar and here are two practice questions for you. We are exploring quadratic functions in factored form. The question is, graph each quadratic function by hand by determining the zeros, axis of symmetry, vertex and y-intercept. So I will do one of these questions for you. The other one is for you to practice. Let me take uh, the first one, right? This is for you to practice. So let us first find the zeros zeros are when each factor is equated to zero what value of x will make it zero so that is how you find zero so that is my first step let's find zeros first so zero here means x minus two should be equal to zero that means x is equals to two or we could have x plus four equals to zero that gives us x equals to minus four so we have two zeros here and the zeros are at x equals 2. So let me write down the answers here itself. Uh, we have zeros at so 2 is the x coordinate point, y value will be 0 and the other one is at minus 4 0. Right? So we got the zeros. To find the axis of symmetry, after all what is axis of symmetry? Axis of symmetry as you know is average values of the zeros. So if my zeros are at x1 and x2 you have to add them, divide by 2, right? So let us find x of symmetry. Let us say it is at x, which is equals to x1 plus x2 divided by 2. Uh, x1 is 2 for me, and x2, the second 0, is at minus 4. So let's divide them, add and divide them by 2. So we are trying to find the average value between the two zeros. That gives you the x of symmetry. So 2 minus 4 is minus 2. Minus 2 divided by 2 is minus 1. So x equals to minus 1 is the axis of symmetry. Once you find axis of symmetry, you can find vertex. How do you find vertex? Vertex is, is a point on the axis of symmetry. So for vertex, what do we do? We actually substitute the value of axis of symmetry in the equations and find y value. So y equals to 3 times, x of symmetry is minus 1, so we'll substitute minus 1 here, right? And calculate the y value. So that gives you 3 times, minus 1 minus 2 is minus 3, plus minus 1 plus is, I mean, product, right? 3. So it is minus 27. So y value is minus 27, right? So we get vertex at x value of minus 1, if I write minus 1 here, then I get 3 times 3 times 3 with a negative sign, which is minus 27. So that becomes the vertex, right? Now I'll use the space to sketch the, the parabola, right? So first let us find the y-intercepts also. So y-intercept is a point where x is 0. So we'll say y-intercept and y-intercept means we're looking for x equals to 0. What is the value of y? So we'll find y now. Substitute x as 0. So 3 times 0 minus 2 times 0 plus 4. So that gives you a value 3 times minus 2 times 4. That is to say 3 times minus 2 is minus 6 minus 6 times 4 is minus 24. So we get a value of y-intercept which is minus 24, correct? So that is how we get all the parameters which we need to sketch the graph. So we have, uh, now we'll sketch the graph on the right side, right? So we'll make a rough sketch. We know two zeros are at 2 and minus 4. And then we have x's at minus 1. And the word axis and y intercepts are known to us. So let us make coordinate axis since these values are more negative. So we'll make something like this. We'll make coordinate axis which is kind of more on the negatives. I mean, like this. We'll give you more room here, right? So the parabola actually opens upwards since this positive value and it has two zeros. The zeros are at uh, minus 4 and 2, so we'll, and then vertex here. So let me just sketch one and then I'll label, right? So, so let me just sketch one parabola here, like this, and then we'll label it to 
on a graph paper what you need to do is label it properly and then sketch right so I'm following a reverse kind of a process which is not quite right but gives you an idea of how to do it right so these are my critical points correct so the first point here is the x-intercept at minus 4 so first you need to write the x-intercepts minus 4 and 2 and then you need to sketch the axis so your axis will be in this case at minus 1 which figured out right so this is at minus 1 you would also write here x equals to minus 1 is your axis then you have the vertex the vertex is the y value is minus 27 and the x value here I mean the y intercept is at minus 24 right so that is your y intercept that is how you're going to sketch your parabola you should write x the independent variable along the x-axis y the dependent variable along the y-axis arrows at the end indicates that it extends to infinity right so these are the steps to be followed to sketch a quadratic function a parabola from factored form right follow these steps and do the second part on your own i hope that will give you good practice right so this is the origin for us thank you and all the best